Honorable Ministers, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. On behalf of the Government of Ghana, a member country of PPD, I would like to thank all the Honorable Ministers and representatives of PPD member countries and non-member countries, representatives of the UN agencies, especially UNFPA, UN Office for South-South Cooperation, representatives of NGOs, civil societies, and academia gathered in this two-day-long international interministerial conference on South-South and Triangular co Cooperation in Population and Development. I'm delighted to present our two-day collective thoughts, knowledge, and experience in a framework of our declaration to be implemented. Emphasis on implemented, not shelved, which means we have to walk the talk. Through the strengthening of South-South Cooperation, South-South and Triangular Cooperation. This declaration includes five sections. One, commitments that are already made during Nairobi Summit of IC ICPD 25, commitment to achieve the three zeros, commitment for ICPD and SDGs. Two, acknowledge progress and achievements that we have, we have, we have made through South-South and Triangular Cooperation. Three, challenges that the world has been facing, including our member countries, such as ongoing conflicts, climate change, aging, migration, and severe socioeconomic disruptions caused by global pandemic COVID-19. Challenges in achieving ICPD and SDGs due to financial, technological, or met needs for family planning and supply chain of adequate medical drugs, vaccines, etc. Four, global perspective, especially leveraging resource mobilization for SSTC perspective of PPD Secretariat as a focal point for promoting and facilitating South-South and Triangular Cooperation of PPD Alliance, opportunities for UN Fund for South-South Cooperation, and similar establishments for funding, including UNFPA and UN other agencies. Three, the action, the action that we must carry on forward from this important gathering as our future commitments. I will not go into details in all the sections, but would like to present five actions only that we have already designed based on our collective discussions and consensus among member countries for adapting here this declaration. So the nine points are, we the delegates of this interministerial conference declare our clarion call and commit ourselves to the following actions. Actions. One, make full efforts to shape the future agenda of ICPD through active participation in the review of implementation of ICPD at the juncture of the 30th anniversary of ICPD program of action and also 30th anniversary of the founding of PPD for the purpose of assessing the gains and gaps, determining which approach works well and which does not, and formulating future strategies for the remaining years to achieve the ICPD by 2030, bearing in mind the political declaration of the SDG summit held at the UN headquarters in September 2023, also bearing in mind the potential opportunities and global crisis and challenges we are facing. Encourage PPD and its member states to integrate this review process with the mapping of the PPD strategic plan for SSC 2025-2029. Two, escalate the concerted efforts of the Nairobi Summit commitments of ICPD 25 to translate them into national actions for finishing the unfinished agenda and take further concrete actions to fulfill these commitments by 2030 with specific emphasis on achieving the three zeros for ensuring universal access to sexual and reproductive health and family planning to reduce unintended pregnancies amongst adolescents, reduce maternal mortalities, 
particularly in fragile and humanitarian emergency settings, preventing gender-based violence and, the harmful, and harmful practices in the dimensions of law and policy enforcement, program imp implementation, advocacy, community participation, and social supervision, bearing in mind that the pandemic and multiple crises in the world have resulted in the rollback of progress on reproductive health and women's rights in many countries. Accelerate meaningful youth engagement in all decisions that affect their health and well-being so that they may achieve their full human potential as critical agents of change and touch bearers of the 2030 agenda for current and future generations. Emphasize addressing demographic diversity to drive economic growth and achieve sustainable development. Inspire PPD member countries to take concrete actions to build family-friendly and people-centered societies, particularly in countries where fertility is falling and the population is aging by providing needed healthcare services, nursery facilities, community support, tax reform, and social security schemes to increase people's well-being and promote family development of the country. Again, increase domestic funding by exploring new participatory and innovative financing instruments and structures to meet the challenges that threaten, that threaten to derail progress and sideline the centrality of reproductive health and population in national development to, to ensure affordable recovery from COVID-19 pandemic and ensure full, effective, and accelerated implementation of ICPD program of action and the SDGs. Encourage multiple resource mobilization for SSTC, including third party cost sharing, parallel financing and in-kind contribution, which have been proven to be feasible and effective in the past decades among PPD member countries. Encourage PPD and its member countries to innovate approaches and adapt strategies of resource mobilization for SSTC in this changed and new world situations and increase advocacy effectiveness by advocating the right persons with right approaches. Also encourage PPD member states to make long-term and predictable fun funding to PPD for more effective and sustainable development of SSTC. Further strengthen the SST SSC with more emphasis on operationalization and institu institutionalization of SSC, bearing in mind the respective mandates and comparative advantages of different stakeholders, and also bearing in mind the potential opportunities and global multiple crises and challenges we are facing, so as to increase the resilience and ensure sustainable development of SSC. For achieving this goal, immediate priorities should be given to integrating SSC of population and reproductive health into all national SSC programs, establishing and developing a national tax force as an entry point towards the institu institutionalization, allocating a regular annual budget, building and strengthening the centers of excellence on SSC. Promote innovations for enhancing and expanding SSTC Give more special emphasis on new, technology, trans, on new technology transfer, including digital technology transfer through SSTC. Encourage, particularly, the innovative MCH corporation, corporations initiatives between and among PPD member countries, such as the establishment of matching hospitals, sister hospitals, by taking advantage of digital technologies implementation of integrated MCH co cooperation initiatives by building multiple partnerships with different stakeholders. Call upon the international community to give particular attention and more support to the MCH RH improvement in the West and Central African regions through SSTC. 
strengthen research and monitoring of SSC, encourage and support establishment and development of SSC centers of excellence, encourage PPD and relevant UN agencies and international organizations to provide more support to SSC centers of excellence, including professional guidance development, capacity building, resource mobilization, and good practice sharing. Conduct on a regular and voluntary basis and in combination with the review process of ICPD 30, monitoring and assessment of the progress of SSC and its contributions made by PPD and its member states towards achievement and localization of ICPD and SDGs. Eight, reinforce multiple partnership buildings for SSTC, including, en including engaging with partners in the UN system, the international community, government, civil society, academia, and the private sector by seeking a good opportunity of rising of raising SSTC movements in the international community in the new era, and particularly strengthen the triangular cooperation for more impactful and sustainable actions at global, regional, and country levels, so as to achieve the ICPD and SDG goals, and to build a global community of health for all, in which no one is left behind. Finally, we convey our sincere thanks and deep appreciation to the people and government of the Republic of Zimbabwe. Also, we express our great gratitude and appreciation to His Excellency Dr. Emerson Dambuzi Munangawi, the Honorable President of the Republic of Zimbabwe, for his attendance and inspiring speech at this conference. Particularly also, our thanks goes to the Minister of Health and, Ch and Child Welfare for successfully hosting this IIMC and the warm hospitality extended to all delegates in this beautiful city of Victoria Falls. Honorable Chair, of this, the Honorable Chair of this important session and the Chair of PPD, on behalf of the PPD member countries, I would like you to adapt this declaration. Finally, I would like to request PPD, UNFPA, and similar agencies and establishments to please join together, advocating advocate for the forthcoming events in the celebration of ICPD. So, Honorable Chair, thank you.